So, you've all seen the title, you've all seen the thumbnail, and the reason I am making this video right now is because this needs patching really, really quick. And rather than me trying to explain it on text, I want to make a video so Ubisoft can see it through and through what is going on. And obviously highlighting to everyone because the more people that see this means the higher the chance of Ubisoft seeing this. I'm also going to send a ticket over to them for them to be able to fix it um, with that ticket. But yeah, guys, this is broken. It's broken the game. Um, people can get not millions of silver billions of silver not only can they get billions of silver they can get unlimited resources in terms of raw materials and refined materials and when i say that i mean if i went over to here and went to my codex you can see i haven't got the silver right now because i haven't done it i've heard about it and i um wanted to go over it so you see here if you were to look at these materials right now or if we were to look at let's say a weapon in order to craft a weapon let's say a culverin or a basilisk free and you see there on the right of the screen you've got the magnetite ingots the green heart planks the screw mechanisms the precision drilling bits and the orcas mechanisms and then obviously you got your silver um doing this method makes it so you can get unlimited of them in such a short time and obviously like i said if i had wrote this down and explained it in writing um, Ubisoft might not understand the way I've put it on paper. So as long as I can make a video, um, they can understand it a little bit better. So please, Ubisoft, if you guys uh, know anyone in Ubisoft, uh, if you've got any contacts, if you can share this about and try and get Ubisoft to see this, it needs fixing soon because the economy is about to be broken. If not, it's already broken with the amounts of unlimited silver and materials that you can get. Um, especially moving into season two, we know that we're going to be needing to craft everything with materials and silver. And this is just basically giving people infinite amounts of that. So to understand what the heck is going on, I'm going to explain it a little bit here just by talking. Um, so what it is, is you would in effect go to your cargo. You would have a ship build like this. So the ship build that I've got on is the snow. Now the reason you are or other people are using the snow is because it has got the most storage. Now this does work with any single ship. Okay. Now the reason they're doing it with more storage because the more storage you have, the more items you can carry. So firstly, you would have a ship. Then people would want to get a crew attack. So, in order to be able to crew attack, you're going to want something with a perk raider. Obviously, you're going to build up crew attack with any weapon, but they're going to want a raider perk. So, the charge rate is up for crew attack. Um, and the reason you want to do crew attack, because I don't know if you've ever boarded a ship in this game before. But when you board a ship in this game, you get what is called bonus loot. So, it might be when you've done the mango in and you've boarded it. But rather than getting your normal essences drop on the or in the ocean, um, that would be what the loot five essences. When you board it, you might get an additional two, three, four, or even more. Like you might board a ship with some raw materials or commodities, and when you board it, it gives you bonus loot at the bottom, which gives you a bit more. Now the bonus is typically between ten to thirty. It does keep escalating. Obviously, the more you're doing when you're in a group. Now. Obviously, to get more bonus loot, you'd be in a group. So, this is what people were doing. Um, so, yeah, essentially, you would make a build, or what people are doing, making builds that are super duper weak and with major amounts of cargo. Um, once that has been done, the ship they're putting together is putting basilisk just on each side. Um, obviously, the higher the basilisk, it doesn't really matter because you could go for a low basilisk. They've all got a raider perk. The reason they're not using zammers and that because as they've got no armor on, if you set them a, a light or a blaze, um, then they're not going to be able to crew, uh, crew board because they're going to be taking damage too quick. So it's literally the basilisk, zero armor. And the only furniture you're putting on is the spiked warhorn to increase that charge rate of crew attack by 10%. Now, once that is done... Um, you would simply, in your cargo, you would only need, now I can't obviously put this, oh, I can put this in my warehouse, 
you would only need to have cannonballs on you. Wouldn't need to have anything else. And then the thing that you want to duplicate. So this is basically effectively a duplication. You would go ahead. So if I've got the magnetites here. Every time someone crew boards me. They're going to get my magnetite ingots. And not only are they going to get my magnetite ingots. They're also going to get bonus amounts of my magnetite ingots. So you're going to get my magnetites and you're going to get the bonus, which is if it's 10%, you're going to get five to six extra. Now, every time you stack up more and more and more and more of this, you're going to be getting more and more ingots. So as soon as I've got 100, you're going to get about 10. As soon as I've got 200, you're going to get about 20. As soon as I've got 500, you're going to get about 50 to 100. So you're going to get loads. But where people are getting billions of silver is not by the refined stuff and not by all of the other bits. They're getting it using these, the Vengeful Essences, because they have zero weight. If you look down at the bottom of my ship right now and I put this to my cargo, I am still at 135 cargo out of 80,000. Okay, so what they're doing is they're putting on Vengeful Essences... Um, and once it's on there, it's just going to keep stacking up the bonus amounts. And it's just going to keep multiplying and multiplying and multiplying. And one of these Vengeful Essences sell for 50 silver. So if I go up here to the shop and I go to sell one. So let's go here and sell. Um, if I go here and sell and I go to cycle inventory. For instance, if you were to get that and you sell it, that's 13 silver. But if I go down to the Vengeful Essence... I could sell one for 50 silver, you see there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to join into the party so we can demonstrate this on exactly how it works so you guys over in Ubisoft can patch this ASAP. So, the person that you would be doing this with is going to have Vengeful Essences. You're going to have Vengeful Essences. You're going to have as many Vengeful Essences, scales, teeth, Whatever you need, you're going to have it on you because that is going to be the item that you're going to duplicate. Now, it only only works with materials and it only works with essences and teeth and stuff like that. It doesn't work with everything. Now, I'm going to fast travel over there. And you want to have a little amount of cannibals so you're not taking up too much weight. I'm going to fast travel to the Navigator's Cross. And when I'm here, I'm literally going to sail out. I'm going to weaken Grim, who's here with me doing this. And when I weaken Grim, I'm going to crew board. And you're going to see how much I'm going to get. So I am going to quickly just unmute them over on Discord so I can hear them. I don't know if you guys can hear them, but yeah, I'm just going to unmute. Hello, guys. <laughs> so I don't think they can hear you on the recording, um, but I've just basically explained what it's about. Uh, have you got the loot on you for me to come out and collect it from you? Perfect. I'm So basically, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set sail. And when I set sail, I'm going to go over to get the crew attack up. And I'm going to build it up to sink said person um, to get the loot. So in this case, unfortunately, it's going to be Grim. So Grim's going to set sail. You've got to have the PvP mode on because that's obviously that's the only way you can attack them and board them. You're going to get them down but to a point where you can crew board them. So don't use your crew attack. So here I'm going to hit the weak spot to get that crew attack up higher and obviously do more damage. I can do two full bursts on the front and then I can do four cannonballs on the hull. So one, two, three, four. And now I can crew attack. And once I board Grim in this case, sorry Grim, you can see at the bottom bonus loot found. 250,000 essences. Now, I'm going to take that all, but not only am I going to get the 1 million essences that he's got, I'm also getting the bonus of 250,000. Now, he's going to come out and kill me, and when he kills me, that wasn't 250,000, that was, wait, yeah, sorry, it was 250,000 plus the million I've got. He's going to kill me, so he's going to dock, repair himself, and then come out and kill me, crew board me, obviously, and whatever I've got is the 1.25. It's going to add on the 10, 20, 30% on top of what I've got. So in that case, it gave me 25%. Um, but it keeps obviously upping and scaling up on, on what you've got. So here I go. I'm going to go take a bit of abuse from Grim. 
<laughs> a bit of payback is what you said. You can't hear it. But yeah, he's throwing it at me. Uh, he's going to quickly take me out. So it's two full bursts to the front and then four balls to the hole. Is the exact amount for the right crew attack. But you can see down the bottom left of my screen, he can already uh, crew attack, but he wants to wait until he can board me. So now he can board me. He's going to put his hooks on. He's going to miss, but we're not going to talk about it. Um, that was not in a YouTube video at all, Grims. Don't worry. No one's going to see it. Um, he's going to board me. <laughs> and I've been sunk. But in effect, Grim now has got more loot. I'm going to go back to Doc here. And when I go back to Doc, I can repair my ship. Now, you could respawn at sea, but it's just not its not wise. Just be close to a dock. You would repair, and you're going to have enough silver anyway to repair yourself. So, you're going to set sail again, and then I am going to repeat the exact same motion that Grim just did to me. And then I'm going to kill him, and it's just going to keep duplicating, but it's going to increase the amount of items that you're duplicating. Oh, have you just lowered him for me, Skeet? There you go. So he's done the work for me. Love that. <laughs> Let's go, Dev Squad. So I'm now crew boarding him. And if you look before, it's 250,000 bonus loot. Now it's 390,000 bonus of the Vengeful Essences. I'm going to take it. He's going to come out and kill me. And then it's going to keep rinsing and repeating. And then what happens is I'm going to do this one in one more like run, Grim. Um, and then I'm going to go and sell one million worth of Vengeful Essences so they can see how much silver it's given me. Yeah, well, we do and we don't. <laughs> we do not condemn this, Ubisoft. Um, yeah, but it definitely needs to get patched ASAP. Um, but this is obviously the easiest way of highlighting it so they can find out what the issue is um, and uh, trying to find the quickest way of stopping it. Now, I know they could put a halt onto it really quick, like really easily by just stopping the bonus loot for now. If they just cut the bonus loot for right now, then it's going to stop people being able to do it. Um, but it's obviously going to take one more feature from the game. So maybe make it so my suggestion is you get bonus loot from... Um, pirate ships and PvE ships, or NPC ships, let's say, but from actual players, maybe make it so you can't get bonus loot. That would be my ultimate suggestion for stopping or putting a hold on this right now um, and literally putting a plaster on it until you get a bigger fix for it. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the way to stop the duplication. So I'm going to set sail yet again, and I'm going to come out and do the same thing over again. I'm going to have over 2 million Vengeful Essences. I will sell 1 million of them. And he's already down. Let's go, Skeet. Appreciate you, Skeet. Um, I just threw my hooks. Yeah, they went... Oh, no! No, let's not talk about it. Let's not talk about it. No, 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 no. Let's not talk about it. I am so glad you guys... Oh, my God. I'm so glad you guys can't hear him in the, the recording. But he's just saying, I have got the best hook shot in the world. Um, and he calls me daddy and he loves me so much. <laughs> he said he will correct this in the comments of the video. But there you go. You can see down below there's another 610,000 on top of that million. So I am quickly going to uh, go back to Doc because I want to just sell 1 million of it, Grim. And then I'll come back out and then you can take the rest of it. So I'm going to disembark. I can sell it to any trader. So let's quickly disembark. I'm going to quickly go over to the vendor here at the sea, or on, on the beach, sorry. I'm going to talk. I'm going to buy and sell. I'm going to go to sell. And you can see now I've got, I can't even see the numbers, 300, at, no, 3 million and 51,000 of these. If I was to click sell and I was to click max, which you can see there, I'm going to get 50 million silver from doing this so i would click accept and you can see now i have got max silver i've got 50 million silver and you saw how quick you get 50 million silver which is ridiculously quick not only with that like i said it works with any other material um planks and obviously the other bits and bobs so it's yes yeah, scales you can get unlimited uh, oro boros armors teeth uh, so you could get unlimited helm mats because in effect if you had teeth you could buy um, boxes from Lenitra, and then that's going to have hell mats in it as well. Um, and it's going to be all of the crazy madness. Um, so, yeah, guys, if you want to be part of the amazing community, go to the Discord, discord.gg. Crim's dancing in front of me. 
Um, yeah, go to discord.gg forward slash death squad. The E is a free. I don't know what Skeet's doing. I think he's kissing his ass. Uh, <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and then, yeah, obviously... Live on Twitch, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, thank you, Death Squad, obviously, for helping me and uh, supporting me. So now I've actually got a new computer. So I can go live again. So it's twitch.tv forward slash iDefishide. E is a free. Um, and then, yeah, that is how it works. Please, if you know anyone in Ubisoft, share this with them so we can get this fixed ASAP. Um, and now you know the full method. If it wasn't quite understood, I will put a description um, as a pinned comment. Um, and I will definitely not pin Grimm's uh, comment because I'm definitely his daddy. Um, so, <laughs> so yeah, um, it will be it will be written as well, Ubisoft. So if you didn't understand, obviously the process on the video, or you want a writing, so you can email it to someone. It will be in writing as well to my uh, best or, or to, to the best I can write it. Let's say. Um, so look at that. Look at the video, and please fix this now. So without further ado, like, follow, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.